Hey guys, welcome back to another week and another stream. And today uh, I'm here with Fadi, and uh, we will walk you through some some coding, some level design, some polishing, and show you guys what we uh, like what we have new this in this week's update, and some of the new systems that we have uh, implemented, and a new enemy boss that we have done for for the dungeon part. And we have also added uh, the shop system. The sh so the shop system is completely there. Now you can buy items, uh, consumables, and uh, it, it properly works. So uh, without further ado, I'll go ahead and uh, share my screen here and uh, and and show you guys. <clears throat> so first of all, I'm going to uh, set up the the falling rock triggers that we the Fadi has done for for the dungeon part it's it's where it's where it's an area basically where you if you enter you're going you have to you have to evade the falling rocks the, like there'll be rocks falling from the roof and if they touch you you're you're going to get damaged uh, by a certain amount so i can't see the falling rock triggers here Fadi, and, where and it's environment a... okay okay environment so so the, the, the this is one of the falling rocks mm. and and we have where else do we have we have there yeah what, like the, the spaces like yeah, this, yeah. yeah where the uh, like for example those two uh, parts where uh, it's being blocked off by the the roof yeah it yeah. won't fall on you so you yeah, can yeah, exactly. get to safety there that makes sense yeah, yeah. and uh, we, also, uh, we also have this uh, cave boss which i'm going to turn him around because um, I, I want him to face the player in the beginning so let's do that so now he's facing the player so when we uh, like enter him he's he's gonna be facing the player so let's uh, go ahead and show you guys this dungeon part here so you, when you enter the dungeon obviously the uh, the environment team like changes the parallax effect i don't know for some reason the particle system is not working and i, I have to fix that and you can see that we have added these uh, glowing crystals in the cave because it's dark Mm. it's something that matches uh with the with the style so we have these going they don't they don't do anything they're just in the background so you can't actually uh interact with them and also why are the rocks falling um, there's this area is supposed to be the falling rock right yeah yeah and the rocks are not falling Yes. There is something that blocks the particles and the falling rocks. Yeah, the fall the particles is not working in the falling rocks. So I'm going to show you the uh, the, the like one of the dungeon boss here. I, I don't know why there is some kind of errors we need to fix. And also, guys, uh, we're going to totally change the dash system now. So before the dashing ability was used only for to get from point A to point B, but now when you dash, you're you're also going to damage the enemy. So any enemy that you dash through is going to take some amount of damage. So that will make the will the dash that will make the dashing uh, a, a unique. Oh, yeah. So yeah. So this started, but I couldn't show it to you guys. So I'll just drag my player to the boss and uh, let's see so this is a special boss that we made for this part specially uh, for the dungeon part so in the beginning uh, you can see that he's uh, kneeling down he's kneeling down and uh, I think what I have to change is my sprites here wait a second this should be zero but I think this should be changed to okay let's see if it works now so in the beginning he's just kneeling down and then when you trigger him like there is a trigger here where you can actually uh where, where he gets up so he gets up from his sleeping state he he charges but he's wa walking in the opposite direction <laughs> I don't know why, but I think that's that's because why the animations were uh, 
that's how the animations were set rotating this should work but apparently it's not working so he's in the kneeling state when you actually go near him he's gonna go he's gonna wake up and he's going to do two intro animations and then he'll go back into the patrolling state so while he's doing this uh, these animations you can't actually go and damage him because you see if i try to damage him he doesn't take any damage okay why is this happening so so you can see that he's uh, he's patrolling and and you can't escape this this these two pathways are blocked actually so the only way to get out of here is by by damaging him or by defeating him actually so he's patrolling and there's also an issue with that well wow, today a lot of issues so when i kill him i can yeah okay these pathways open and uh, oh and when you, uh, we're also going to change these messages. When you collect each artifact item, uh, they're gonna display a message that 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 is related to that artifact. So in this mm -hmm. case, I just have uh, you have collected the bow, but we'll we'll change that. And uh, once you once you get out, like this is the final zone of the dungeon part. And once you come out here, you're in the night time. So this is the item shop. There will be one item shop in each level, and uh, this is one of the item shops. This is the item shop in this level. So you can go ahead. When you go into the item shop, you have these items here. You can uh, you can buy each item if you have if you have the gold. Uh, it's really hard to see the amount of gold I have right now. So it's uh, it's eleven. So uh, you, we have four consumable items, and the we have we also have info boxes here uh, at the bottom that says what, what like what each item does. So we have date that instantly restores twenty health. We have uh, gahua, which is coffee for the locals here, and it boosts the player speed for ten seconds. We have the karak chai, which is also a uh, like a refreshing drink, a hot drink which doubles your gold earnings for 10 seconds. So while you have this activated, the whatever the amount of gold you get, it's going to be doubled. And then finally, we have the Leban Up, which doubles your attack damage for 10 seconds. So if your attack damage is 20, it's going to be 40 for 10 seconds. I think you can use this to uh, fight the final boss or, yeah. or or some of the mini bosses. So if you, if you buy this... Yeah, uh, like it's best uh, to collect those four slots that you have have them all uh, ready before the mini boss or the final boss just yeah. in case uh, you need any more power ups health or speed exactly so i bought i bought a i bought one date and if i try to buy again it says that not enough gold that's true because i have uh, one gold now and the the way to exit the item shop is you just walk out of the uh, out of the trigger zone and here it says bakala that that actually means uh, Grocery, yeah, grocery in UA in in uh, in Arabic actually. Yeah. So here, groceries when you when you visit these groceries, they have the name Bakala on them. So that's how you know that it's a. Uh... And here I can't buy anything else because uh, I don't have the, I, I don't have enough gold. So this is the item shop which is, which will be located right after you cross the dungeon area, and it, it will only have one item shop for each level. So you can actually heal up here you I, I can actually free up one of the slots here and and get something else mm. for your final boss and once you cross that you will enter the nighttime area here uh, where the where we have different tiles uh, and we have different environment different background parallax and we have glowing trees and all that stuff here for the nighttime uh, pretty much the level layout remains the same, but the design and the the way the moving platform works, they move diagonally now instead of just up and down or, or, or left or right. Yeah. So so it gets tricky from here on. And uh, we also have different artifacts for this for this section here. So I'll, I'll go ahead and show you the artifacts to wait for it to move. Like also here, you need to explore just as in uh, the sunny part uh, to get more uh, artifacts, so it can help you with uh, fighting the, the the enemies better. Yes, and uh, wait a second. I think I should just drag them because I showed this part. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, I'll place the player here uh, above. And I'll show you one of the artifacts here. <clears throat> so here, uh, we're... So these are animals that you can kill them. Uh, and they, they don't attack you, but if you touch them, they will damage you for sure. Hmm. And you get gold, you see I got like 48 gold. And uh, what artifact? So we have an arrow here. Uh, this one is not collectible. That I think we have. A, we need to set that. Uh, so in our environment here, we will have artifacts, and then we have the arrow, which I believe is this. So we just need to give. So it should be collectible now. <laughs> And uh, let me kill these small enemies. Okay, it says you have collected the arrow and you can press OK. So here, instead of also these texts, you'll learn more about uh, UAE effects and uh, history uh, achievements that has been uh, done by UAE. Yes, so each artifact is... Okay, wait a minute, this... This he part, he... Okay, okay, yeah. I think there... I thought there was a bug there. Hmm. And if you go all the way, obviously we will have... Uh, we're going to... In the second part of this, uh, we're going to actually place the enemies where they're, where they're, like, where they're supposed to be. Hmm. And if you like completely go to the end, Okay, uh, well, do we have the final boss waiting in, 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 in a different arena. So let's go ahead and uh, populate this night time because we don't have enough hurdles and challenges here. So since we have a dedicated boss for the dungeons, we can use the mini bosses and... Uh, if I go into my prefabs here and look up to my enemies, we have a mini boss prefab here. So let's add one enemy here in this area. And why can't I move him? Wait. Wow, it's... I have to use these. So this enemy will patrol... Uh, we need. We also need uh, two positions that this enemy is going to be patrolling an area that he will be patrolling in. And uh, we can go ahead and make this... Uh, I'll just copy this twice and call it left limit and the other one I'll just call it right limit and I'll take this wherever it is so it's all the way here So this is my left limit and it will be on the left side of the enemy here and uh, I'll just do this and reset the transform and this is going to be my right limit so this is the area that he's going to be patrolling in and in the in the script for our uh, mini boss let's drag him down here we'll just assign these values so this is the right limit and then we have a left limit. So if you play the game now. Hey, hello, just just team. Thank you, Miss Bar. Wait, wait, wait. I need to move my player from. Yeah, we just did the shop this week and uh, I'm pretty sure it will be uh, in, in the next week's update. You guys can experiment with that so i'll go ahead and make move my player here 
at the bottom. And let's play this now. What's wrong with the moving animation? Wait, do all the enemies? Okay, now these move. Alright, instead of using this guy, I think I made some changes that... Come on! Why is this? Where is this guy? Okay, let's go to him. Enable him. Okay, something is wrong with Unity now. Let me go over to this mini boss. Okay, this is the one. Copy him. And move him to our new position. And let's assign the new right limit and left limit for this guy. Let's see if he patrols the way we want him to. Okay, he's patrolling. Yeah, he's patrolling. So this one, is, this one is working. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to unpack this completely. And I'll just make copies of him of him and place wherever we want. So we can place one enemy here or we can place we can place two enemies here. And we can take our uh, right limit. So there will be two enemies patrolling here and take our left limit. So let's play this game tested to test it out that if uh-huh they're they keep going because Delete this guy. <clears throat> okay, yeah, this one is working. He he goes he goes on the trap. Uh, I need to move my uh, right limit a bit to the left. So yeah. as soon as he reaches the trap, he he goes the other way. Okay, and this is the way we're going to populate uh, our uh, our nighttime area. So let's just place them wherever we want for now, and we can have the one of one here. We can copy it again and have it here. Oh, I think here would be better. Yeah, yeah. 
so so if you if you look at the way we like we're doing things now so we you have uh, like animals on the top level and then when you go, come to the ground level you have mini bosses and then i can put one here i can put one here let's have an animal in this section and we we can use this here So we have this mini boss is done. This one is done. So this is this guy. We need to focus on this him. We'll just copy copy these two again. Right limit, and we have. So for our third mini boss, we have again, there's a problem with this guy. Why doesn't it focus on the object that I'm clicking? Something is really wrong with Unity. This guy we have. Uh, so guys, what do you think we could add for uh, level two, like asset, uh, like uh, decorations or ground tiles? What What do you think? If you guys have any ideas, what uh, about what to uh, make the uh, level two modern day look better? If you guys have uh, have any suggestions for that? Mm -hmm. Actually, we're going to start the level two by tomorrow, hopefully, mm -hmm. and. Uh... We have everything ready. I mean, this level is completely done. We just need to polish it. I mean, there is no new system apart from the Falcon ability, which we will do uh, as soon as possible. But apart mm. from populating this with enemies, I don't think there is uh, much to be left. There are some errors that I'm going to fix, like such as the falling rock is not being triggered properly. And uh, which actually I should look at now. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's look at why it's not uh, working the falling rock triggers. So first of all, I'm going to select my player here and uh, take him all the way to the beginning of the level. And let's see why, what's the issue with the triggers here. So I believe one of the falling rock triggers is at the beginning just for because I wanted to test it. Uh, going to disable him. And uh, where is my falling rock triggers in the environment? There is so much stuff here. It's so hard to even yeah to keep track of all these. Yeah, exactly. So I think one of the falling rock is here. Okay, yeah, so this is one of the falling rocks, falling rock trigger, and it has a script here, which is uh, not missing anything. Let's see in the script. Thank you, Tony, for the comment. Uh, okay, so here I'm checking if the player all right, let's see. Uh, let's do a debug.log here. C 
save this. Let's go back. <laughs> and play the game now. Let's see if it displays that message that I'm like within the zone. Okay, okay, now it's working for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. But what about the uh, those particles? No, the falling rocks is working, but it it doesn't work in the cave if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I'm going to delete all of the triggers. And wait a minute, which one is this? Okay, I'm going to delete all of the triggers here. Move this trigger to the cave area because that's where it's supposed to be. So I believe this much is in the trigger, right? Yeah, yeah. A bit more because it should cover this much. Yep. Then you have one more here. So I'm going to reduce the, the size here and then you have one more over in this open area. Yeah. Should we put one more trigger area in the shop so that yeah. players have <laughs> players have to evade the falling rock and they as they purchase? I think it would be too annoying. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, you know, I was thinking when the dungeon boss is at level, let's say, uh, not level, actually, health, mm. at 25 health, uh, we should trigger the falling rocks, so he ha they have to evade the rocks and fight him, so it becomes a bit harder when you, when he, when he's in, when he's on no HP. Yeah, yeah, it's good, yeah, it's a good idea, we can yes. do that, yeah. So when he's, like, low, I can trigger the falling rocks, let's, let's try to do that, let's fix why this uh, falling rocks is not working so i'll just take this and place him here and let's see if the if this works now play the game okay so this is a restriction basically so once once you enter the dungeon you cannot go back mm -hmm. so if you it's not working in here but it says player is in the zone, but it's not working. I don't even see the falling weight. Why doesn't it work? Uh, check uh, from the scene itself if it falls even, like not from in the game. Like uh, play, play, start the game and check from the scene if it or if it falls okay, or okay. not. Okay, uh, okay. Maybe it's in the behind that we can't see. Maybe. So I'm in the zone and it's it's not falling. Hmm. What is the problem here? So if I take this outside and if I take my player outside, let's see. This is okay, let's see now if it It doesn't. Why does it work there and it doesn't work here? Maybe something with the parallax, like from changing the sunny, from the sunny part to the dungeon part. Okay, so if if I if I move the trigger, let's see, let's make the trigger here. Hmm. This is very annoying. It works in one place and it doesn't work in the other. Yeah. Let's disable all the other all the rest of the falling rock triggers here. And this one, let's reduce the size. Something like this. Take my player. 
move him to this platform and play the game now. Let's see. It says that I'm in the zone, but it's not triggering. Like it's... Maybe it doesn't work if we resize it. <laughs> no, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, if I go all the way back. Because I think the, the rocks are very huge. Like if, if the ones that falls. All right? No, 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 that's not a problem. See here, where is this trigger? It's here in the beginning. And now if I play the game, wait. It works, see? It's falling. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. I think... There is another issue. It's not, it's not within the screen. See? Oh. No. No, it comes in. Wait, does it spawn in the screen? It's spawning outside this. Now you can see it in game, right? Yeah, 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 it's in it's there. See? Yeah. Even the uh, the particles. Yeah, the rock particles when they crash. No, no, I mean the, those small uh, light. Uh... Oh, that's because I have them enabled here, but they <laughs> it doesn't work in the in the dungeon. Yeah. yeah. I have no idea why this is happening. Uh, falling rock trigger two. Let me see my camera first of all. Uh, I did make some changes here. There is this camera shake. Let's remove this component completely. Go back to our cinema machine here and... Okay, wait a second. Should follow this. If I do... Okay, one second, one second. Now in my camera, it looks... Yeah, okay. Let's test it now. Let's see if it's... Where do, where do we have the falling rock trigger? This is the falling rock trigger. Okay, now it's spawning in the screen, see? Within the screen. But wait... Why the camera doesn't... I think that's because... Wait... It shouldn't be like this, like, if I stand still, I'm able to dodge it. Yeah. Uh... Actually, 
player attributes. Okay. Now if I take this zone, trigger zone, to the dungeon part. Let's take this here. Okay, let's see. I'm I'm really annoyed by this is not working. Yeah. Seriously. Okay, yeah, it's falling actually. It's working. Oh, let me let me try it in game. Wait, is the particles working too? Are the particles working? I didn't I didn't see that. Oh yes, oh. yes. Finally, nice. this is the falling rock. You can see that the rocks are falling, and you have to evade them. Although I don't know why it's not falling on the player where it, it it used to fall on the player before but now it's hmm. also you might think that you can evade the rocks just because you're under something like like this but they still wait do this do this stop here i need to check if every uh, one of the triggers works because for some reason some work some some don't work so this trigger is okay it should be all the way and uh, um I will just increase the response, decrease the response time here. Let's make it 0 0.6. So each every 0 0.6 seconds, there is a rock spawning. Thank you, Basel. Thank you for joining in on today's stream. Also, the particles are already activated, so that's another issue here. So let's see the if the transition works. Okay, no particle. I go in the cave. The particles start. The rocks start falling. And I can go... Father, do you think that I should maybe reduce it even more? Okay, there is a... Uh, okay. There is something above here that prevents, like it gets collided. Oh, so that was a nice. Do you think I should decrease the respawn size? Uh, sorry, time, because... Uh, like decrease the, the amount of rocks falling? No, increase the rate uh, at which they are spawning. Like in, uh, more more rocks, or this is this fine? Yeah, this is good, yeah. No, no. Yeah, like uh, I think the the time for it uh, even matches with uh, when the player, for example, goes forward, it drops in front of them. So yeah, the, yeah, like, yeah. So you can, if you're moving, you you can collide with them. Yeah. And when when you come here, okay, yeah, they start falling rocks again, and you can see that. Hmm. And then we have the final guy here. Who, okay, who is working now? No. <laughs> He's still it's, walking. Yeah. Let me see if he patrols or he patrols. Yeah, he patrols. And I cannot escape this. And he's chasing me now. And... And he can corner you and he died. So, when he dies, you can actually go out. You can collect the bow. And be aware the falling rocks start again here. But yeah. what I want to do is, uh, uh, Basel has Basel says that glowing crystals look sick. Thank you, Basel. I think the damage at the rate of the falling is good with the player 
place it into this level yes yeah clear place yeah we think that too so okay this is another issue why why am i getting wait a minute there is an error let me see that error by dates object reference set to null reference of okay let me see that uh this is which item shop dot by why is even item shop wait i think that will fix the error so if i jump now i won't get any dates now so what we want to do is <laughs> he looked afraid <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> exactly what we want to do is for this cave boss uh, when he reaches uh, let's say like 25 health i want uh, rocks to start falling from the from the roof so first of all i'll drag my player in player within the this fight arena here and where my final boss is let's go open his script up uh where is it so here here is the cave boss and so this is where we are let me just go over where we check the health so this here we check if the health is less than or equal to 0 you die we can do another if uh, if statement here which will be before the dying so we can say that if current health is uh, less than let's give him 30 maybe less than or equal to 30 we will activate activate uh, falling rock figure so to activate that we need a reference to the game object we'll go in the top make a public public uh, game object falling rock trigger and by default this will be uh, disabled so all we need to do is when the health is 30 or less just activate that so falling rock trigger dot set active is true sorry that's not true yeah and now this uh, should work i need to create one more uh, trigger for for our enemy here so let's go ahead in the environment in the falling rock trigger let's make one more trigger and this will be this will cover the entire range of uh, this arena basically so let's resize this I think that's that's good enough and by default this will be deactivated and in our in our cave boss which where he where is he I will just drag in my falling rock trigger yep and uh, his attack animation seems a bit slow so let's increase the speed of that too we have attack so right now it's 45 samples let's make that 55 and uh, let's see now let's test this out so play the game and uh, we don't have any rocks falling in the beginning uh, the boss wakes up goes to his uh, animation state and if i approach too closely and and now his uh, attack is increased yeah so so let's uh, try to get him below 30 i think he's below 30 oh, so see so the, now the rocks oh. are so now the rocks are falling and you cannot escape this uh, this area and uh, unless you uh, unless you defeat the boss hmm. becomes let's <laughs> will increase the uh, health of the enemy it's it's like you can easily kill him even now yeah. if you and if you get the power of uh, effect here the the double damage you can instantly kill him like within maybe two or three uh, blows here so yeah in our cave boss let's go his health is max health is 100 let's make that i don't know how much 200 yeah that's right 200 is fine yeah, yeah. We, can, we can try 200 
and let's make the trigger health at 50 or 75 75 yeah 75 okay so his max health is 200 the rock trigger is Basel says that thoughts about putting like a campfire or something that heals the player before a boss maybe gives a bit of damage increase so you want the campfire to uh, heal you or increase your damage this might help the player use the utilities during the fight see we have the we have dates and other consumable items the the trick is that w w before reaching to this point you will have enough to uh, heal yourself mm. and if you want to um if you want to increase your damage or consume any power ups you can you can do that before so you will have enough of consumables and uh, utilities and before you get to this point so let's try this out one more time i think i i need to increase the animation a bit more but let's make it 65 samples okay he gets up you cannot attack him now oh oh it's Oh, it's it's really fast. The, oh yeah, my god! <laughs> like he whips you with his sword. Yeah, exactly. So uh, now if I if I try to get him seventy five, okay, other yeah, falling rocks start, and you take damage from the falling oh. rocks too. <laughs> actually, the, <laughs> the enemy the enemy doesn't take any damage from falling rocks. That's actually might be. I like how he, ce he celebrates with his sword after he kills <laughs> It's like, die, die. Yeah. <laughs> Never. So. We'll make this 60 samples, I guess. Or maybe 55 was good enough. Yeah. I think, yeah, 55 is good enough. So that works. And uh, let's go over to the item shop after we kill him. So when when this enemy dies, what what should be the goal that we, that we should give the player? When you kill the enemy, uh, it depends on I think the income, like how many enemies we'll put, how many. No, uh, we, how this is a special enemy, right? So on animals, how much do you, how much do, should we give the gold on players? Since we have so many animals, I think five may be a good amount for the animals. Yeah, or uh, yeah, yeah, we can do five or uh, three. Yeah, actually three is also good. Yeah, three mm -hmm. is actually good. Three is good, and for the mini bosses, we can give seven for the mini bosses yeah yeah we can yeah and for this boss let's give 30 because there's just one of him yeah yeah 30 or 35 how much 30 yeah 30 is good okay 30 is the is a good amount so let's see we'll kill the we'll kill this enemy and then we'll go over to the item shop and see if we can uh, buy items and and refresh ourselves so yeah. Uh, I spawn with 38 gold. I need to fix. Well, let's you know. Let's say. Uh, let's say that uh, I came to this point. I killed enemies and many bosses. I have 38 gold. Uh, just, uh, just a reminder that uh, we have like uh, two minutes before we wrap up. Okay, okay. And uh, let's let's kill him. Okay, we killed him, and let's try to escape this place. We'll collect the bow. There's no time to read it because <laughs> artifacts are for, uh, like you like we have falling rocks here. Yeah. And we get to the item shop. Uh, the scene transitions to nighttime. <laughs> now the item shop is not opening for some reason. We'll fix that in the next. Uh, so guys, uh, we'll actually wrap it up here. Uh, thank mm -hmm. you guys so much for coming in. And joining our stream and uh, we'll fix all the issues and we'll try to populate this area nighttime area with with enough enemies so that it becomes challenging and difficult yeah also fadi do you think that we should put one more item shop before you go over to the final boss because see all these animals and uh, enemies you should have one more here right um yeah we could yeah even also we could like uh like before uh, after the item shop we'd have um uh, like an extra mini boss 
I mean, I mean the, the boss in the dungeon, like you meet him again or something. <laughs> no, I think uh, it's uh, like having him. Oh yeah, we can do it, but but I think that because we have here, we should be able to use that gold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think we'll put one more item shop here. Yeah, yeah. like right before we, you. We need also checkpoints. Yeah. Yeah, checkpoints ex- exactly. So in the mm. next week's update, by next week's update, which is uh, this Friday, we'll be giving out another update. We'll have uh, the final boss ready, and uh, this mm. area will be completely populated, decorated yeah. with enemies. Mm. We will have artifact messages ready. We will have an intro for the for the player when when the player uh, when you spawn in this uh, yeah. i don't know if i don't know if we can do the respawn system by next week but we'll try that as well so yeah. in the next week's stream guys we'll be happy to show you guys level 2 and yeah from there let's let's go on from there we have two more weeks and uh, thank you guys so much for coming in basil thank you so much you have been with us for so long yeah. been w- watching our streams Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Have a have a good day, guys. Yeah.